Having eyes, let them not see. Having ears, let them not hear. And the Lord is saying, this is what happens with people who are stuck in sin and iniquity. Their heart is made dull. Right? And God commanded that for a reason. Because anything that is not like Him cannot accept the things that are like Him. So anyone who is not in a state of being molded by God cannot understand the things of God. Those who are practicing iniquity, the Bible says, they have separated themselves from God. And it says if you practice such things according to Galatians 5, 19 through 21, I believe, it talks about you will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you, you're not going to be able to um, comprehend, sustain, or receive the things of the kingdom of God or the things of God. So understand that this is the reason why God does that. He makes dullness come because it will not <laughs> it will not be understood it can't be accepted and God is not mocked if God allows people who are in iniquity to perceive the things of God the demons will begin to slander curse it's it's like it's it's a conflict of interest to God why should the things of darkness mix with the things of light it can't happen it can't happen so understand that many churches are in this state. You're wondering why this world is looking the way that it is. We're looking at powerless Christians, Christians that can't deliver anybody. And yet the Bible is telling you that the sons of God, that the creation is waiting for the sons of God to be made manifest. What does that mean? That means that the sons of God, the children of God are supposed to be delivering this world from death. And yet there's so much death in the people is too much sin in the people, <laughs> too much of a contrary lifestyle, a worldly lifestyle in the people, <laughs> that people are ineffective in their calling. Our real calling is looking much greater. Even Jesus is saying we're going to do greater works. Why have most of us not entered into the things that Jesus has commanded us, He's, or even the things that Jesus has, has already done? He's telling us we're going to do greater works. But yet many of us cannot do the things that Jesus has even done. We haven't entered into those. So understand that we have to do better. This is a call to do better. and to It's a reality check. Many people are full of pride. Can you heal anyone? Can you deliver anyone? Prophesy to us. What is God really saying? God is coming back soon. Jesus is coming back soon. It's time to get on our job. It's time to do well. It's time to love again. It's time to do better. This thing is wrapping up quickly. It's the end times. Hallelujah. Let me pray right now for you. Father, I pray that anyone that may have been made dull, pray that sharpness would come into their spirit, that they would be attentive to your voice, God. Lord, I pray that they will be filled with your spirit. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that anywhere there is hurting in the people, that they will be healed, Lord, that you would heal them in their soul. Lord, I pray that their ears will be open, and I pray that their eyes to see will be open. Lord, give them patience as you have spoken unto me. Lord, give them patience to wait in your presence, that they will be molded by you so that they could hear and see from you. Lord, we must know if we truly walk with you, Lord, then we should be able to hear you at least. Lord, you said your sheep hear your voice. Let us hear your voice, my God. And let us be effective ministers of your gospel. Let us be effective as your children. And let us be effective to do your will. In Jesus' holy name. Amen.